Bishop Museum was founded in 1889 by Charles Reed Bishop in honor of his late wife, Princess Bernice Puahi Bishop, the last descendant of the Royal Kamehameha family. The museum was established to house an extensive collection of Hawaiian artifacts and royal family heirlooms of the princess, and has expanded to include millions of artifacts, documents, and photographs about Hawaii and other Pacific Island cultures. Today, Bishop Museum is the largest museum in the state and the premier natural and cultural history institution in the Pacific. We met with Noel Kuhanu, Director of Community Affairs at the museum, and we discussed the past and the future of the Bishop Museum. I know we can't see everything, of course, because there's so much to see. So walk us through it and tell us what we're going to see today. Well, I would say one of the, my favorite things is the planetarium. Uh, it's the oldest planetarium in the Pacific, and it was really important to the community because we started again the practice of long distance voyaging. And that revitalization happened in the 70s. And what, what's significant about it is that those early navigators learned the star patterns from our planetarium. So they went in, they would look at how the stars and the skies look not only under Hawaii skies, but if they were traveling down into the South Pacific, what those skies look like. So it enabled them to understand the star fields and to learn how to navigate by them. And so today, they're going on an around the world voyage. That's crazy. Yeah, because people always used to say, you know, before all this, it's like, oh yeah, they just got in their boats just and they ended up here. here, right? That's right. So planetarium is very important, you're right. So I would say my overall favorite space on Bishop Museum is Hawaiian Hall. It's really the jewel, the star of our campus. Um, it's the original building. You know, we're over 120 years old. Really? I didn't know it was that old. Yeah. It looks so, it looks pretty well, You're nearing up on 125, actually. Wow. You know, so it's the centerpiece of our campus, and that's where we have all of our Hawaiian artifacts. We do have our Science Adventure Center. Sounds exciting. So it's interactive, it's good for kids, but it's really about the science of Hawaii. We do a daily lava melting demonstration. So they actually take rocks and it, they heat them up to a super high heat and yeah, then you right. show that it liquefies, becomes lava. And you know, because a lot of people think they come to Hawaii and they can see lava on Oahu and you actually no. can't. It. You can only find it on the big, big island. island. And that's how these islands came alive. That's how they came to birth, through, through the fire and the heat and the rock, the molten rock coming up. Right, through our hot spot as uh, the island shifted over that hot spot, they grew, yes. And then also in the science area, you probably talk about like the native uh, birds and insects and all that, right? Yeah, it's also exploring the deep sea. And then, so it's deep sea exploration, it's also learning more about our vo volcanoes and then our species. Because you have a lot of endangered species yes. here. If you see in Hawaiian Hall, what you'll see are a lot of feather cloaks or feather lei. Okay. And a lot of these um, feathers are from birds that are now extinct. Oh, wow. So the only place that you can find and see these things really are in a museum. Nice. Stuff. One of my favorite things is we do a daily storytelling called Ola no Mo'olelo. And it, it, uh, the real point is to bring our collections to life. Mm -hmm. So what they do is um, they talk about different stories and how it connects to something treasured and special in our collection. I know, it sounds great and like a lot of fun. Well, thanks so much for having thank us, Noel. And thank you so much for being here. And until next time, just remember to enjoy. enjoy.